This document is about calculation with uncertainties, and it's specifically about subtraction. So when quantities with uncertainties are combined, the results also have uncertainties. So this discussion is about subtraction. In the examples that follow, the values of x equal to 2 plus or minus 1 and y equal to 32 plus or minus 0.2 will be used. So, if we subtract these two numbers, and we call the result z, which is y minus x, then the smallest value that z can have is if y has its smallest value and x has its biggest value. So if we take 31.8 minus 3, we get 28.8. On the other hand, the biggest value z can have is if we have the biggest value for y and the smallest value for x. So that gives us 31.2. The nominal value of z is what we get if we don't if we just ignore the uncertainty, so that will be 32 minus 2. So the smallest value for z is 28.8. The smallest the largest value for z is 31.2. The nominal value for z is 30. So we can say that z is 30 plus or minus 1.2, because 1.2 is the difference between the nominal value and the maximum value, and it's also the difference between the nominal value and the minimum value. So we can see that 1.2, the uncertainty in z, is just the sum of the uncertainties in x and y. So in general, when we subtract numbers, we add the uncertainties. Graphically, we can show it like this. Here we have a bar representing x, and it is plus and minus this uncertainty. Here we have a bar for y that's plus and minus this uncertainty. To subtract them, what we do is reverse the direction of y and add it to the end of x. So here we go. So again, this distance to here is the nominal value of x, and this distance from here to here is the nominal value of y. So therefore, the nominal value of the distance of the difference between x and y is from here to here. That's the, different, the nominal value of the difference. To find the minimum value, now we can start with this nominal value again, but now we can move this over. So if we make the minimum value of x, and then we take the maximum value of y and subtract it, then the minimum value we get for x minus y is this. And so it differs from the nominal value by delta x plus delta y, because we've moved over the end this much, and now we have to move this much over here. To find the maximum value of x minus y, we start with the nominal values before. Now we move this bar back to this end, and now, instead of looking in the middle, we look here. So this distance from here to here is the maximum value of x minus y. So it's moved from the nominal value by a distance of this plus this. So when we subtract numbers, we add the absolute uncertainties. For example, this 2 plus or minus 1 minus 32 plus or minus 0.2 gives us a value of minus 30 plus or minus 1.2. In the final results, we usually round our uncertainties to one significant figure, so this result becomes minus 30 plus or minus 1.